It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stop. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep Hey, Mason. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. The apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him ring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go! I got that! There's Kasim! Kasim's headed up the stairs!
time works up. Huh? Oh. You're up, Mason. Wait, 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 wait. I, I just handled the money. I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait, 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 he's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon airfield tomorrow night. Uh, oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. Uh, this is not... Oh. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot.
your hostages when you have the ah. chance! Ah. Ah. Hostages? It was never about the hostages. Ah. 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 His plan is already underway. Ah. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time, and you didn't even know. <laughs> Precious will watch the West. Hudson don't want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers, orchestrated by Perseus, attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man best suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir. Sir. Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adams. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal if the press gets a hold. What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And? The new one. Well, no, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. Now we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. Someone high up wanted you with us in Nam. I didn't think I needed you then, but I did. Now I need you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's break time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, here with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 ripcord is 
holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Top two, let him up! Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. Coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset. Badger Niner One, this is Ripcord. 
forward. We are still under heavy fire. VC are breaching the perimeter. What is your status? We're inbound now, Ripcord. Get that asset ready for transfer. Roger that, Niner One. We'll keep the asset safe as long as we can. Ripcord out. Badger Niner One, in the air! VC are all over the mountains. No sense here. All targets are valid.
Grab a weapon! Keep them the fuck off us! Call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. We'll talk on the drive, Bill. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture, rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great deal. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture.
slows down. You and I'll jump off. Park, Lazar. Wait till the next station. Bell and I'll track down Kraus. All right. Train slowing down. Let's go to work. All right. Here we go. Careful. East German guards still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Sie sind verhaftet. Runter auf den Boot. Halt, halt, halt. Beruhigen Sie sich. Wir finden dadurch sicher eine Lösung. Wir Kauf. öffnen das Feuer, wenn Sie sich wieder sehen. Now. Was zum... Nice work. Let's clean this up. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Park, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. Place down, I'll give him that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Kraus will be coming through any time. Look for Kraus with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? That's not him. Cross doesn't look like that. That's our man. That's Kraus. On me. Park. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? Lazar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that.
Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. Guten Abend, mein Herr. Was darf ich Ihnen bringen? Eine Berliner Weiß. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. Kraus is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. One of my informants was picked up in a random suite just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for me. We need him rescued. Oh, silenced. They're holding him here. Thank you, Shin. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. Ist er weg? Vielen Dank. Ich bleibe, glaube ich, so lange hier, bis die Stasi weg ist. Machen 
wir es auf die harte Tor. Mark, give me a sit rep. I'm in a store front facing Craft's apartment. We just got home. You? The Stasi are combing the area. I need to lay low. I'll catch up with you when the heat dies down. Well, get to Park and Lazar ASAP. Out. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you. your little profile without the gun at this all. Follow me. Stay quiet. Don't let the locals run this up. Parks in the electronics store right across the street from Krause's place. I'm gonna pick her up some necklace from the bomb bar, but clothes already. Park is just a man. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a track on him. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best angle. Lovely. Nice work. Now 
Find the briefcase. Hallo? Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja, das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte, sie haben sich... Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Zähne. Ich komm gleich auf. Don't let Kraus see you.
I, I can't explain how he got to the material. But I brought him to That makes this much less unpleasant for you. Perseus has been looking for this one. Then you let Perseus know I captured him. We have greater killer as well. Her own colleague let it out. You spineless piece of shit. I, I, I'm so we gotta turn the KGP's pockets are deeper. Finally. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. She gets it easy. Do not tempt me to bring out my toys. I will ask again. Who do you work for? What kind of fool are you? You think you will die with dignity here? What that means. We agree to a hunt. That's not a coin. My six. Thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo coordinates for Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. I'm not picking up any extra chatter. You're in the clear, Woods. Copy that, Park. Stay on comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Perseus has planned. Look at that monster. 
Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops will see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am a... Choose your target. That problem. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. Quick thinking. Shit. Patrol's approaching my position. They'll find a way in. I'll follow around.
guards down below. I'll move to the lower deck and engage on your mark. All right, I'm set. Приятель, твоя форма это просто позор. Да, мама. Хе! All clear, moving up. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Oh, yeah. from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Be ready. There could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Drill? Let's hook these fuckers up. Incoming grenade! 
Is Operation Greenlight. Bell, can you hack into that? Of course, there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out... No one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. Highest understatement. We're talking about an American nuke in mini Berlin. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. What can I have next? Our 
can't fucking believe it. Park, come in. Park! Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? He's talking about green light. That's what Percy is And Hudson is. Yes, sir, I'm on it. You knew 
the nuke was from green light. Didn't tell us. What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't going to help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced if the Reds moved on Europe, we couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So. There's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau. I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio when we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half. on the ridge line. Do it all quiet-like? Yeah, you're the expert in quiet. I'm a goddamn onion, Mason. You should know that. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. Up 
foot. You take one, I'll get the other. Good kill. Hopefully nobody hurt. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, it's good enough for Reds. Time to pay Ivan a visit. Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Station. Woods. Crossbow bolt. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Я слышал, что
Надо перезарядить. Да! Они Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You been busy? That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. You see any dick sites? There. What's that? Bingo. That crane matches the dick site on this map. That's gotta be it. Have you found the mainframe? There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My, my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up.
up there! My lad, this weight is most uncooperative. Come on! Pick up the base, Belikov! Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way, we're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you're with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand. That if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. So listen up, an ex-CIA op- If we decrypt the protection on this disk, we might be able to take down the entire spy ring. This is why we need you. Show us those skills. Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line.
Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините. Я думал, что это песок с Сингапура. friends yet, Belikov. Did you get access to the bunker? There's always a problem. Solve it. Not yet. I know you have this under control. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled for Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. He knows too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Good man. Now I know why Hudson thinks so highly of you. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry. I just have to come back to you. See you. Did the general come through, sir? And this is as far as it Have you ever been to Poland? Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. <laughs> thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this move. How is that gone? <laughs> Yes. And once we are finished with this mole, he will be as blind and buried as his namesake. <clears throat> Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. I also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, Velikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <clears throat> Comrade Velikov, my apologies. Even your bunker access has been revoked. We can't be too cautious, can we? Secretary Gorbachev, I believe it would be best if only General Charkov retains his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected <coughs> from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras.
Sir. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted oh, here, I'll blow my cover. Now I need to hide the body. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. Mirikov, have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov.
Берекоф, have you dug up my mole yet? Cherkov, that's absurd. Where is your evidence? me. Cherkov will be passing through here soon. When he does, we will apprehend him. Hmm. There is Cherkov. General Cherkov, just how long have you been spitting on Mother Russia? Excuse me? Do you know who you're speaking to? I do now. Your medals will no longer protect you. Please empty your pockets on the counter. Colonel, have you lost your mind? Now step over there and lift your arms to the side. You're serious? <laughs> Fucking do it. Is this your way of setting up my phone? Yes, yes, Once they apprehend Charkov, mm. I'll take his I'm bunk. Looking forward okay. to hearing the response of the Central Committee. Me too. Now go in that room without saying another fucking word. Anything else you need to tell me, you can do it in there. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler steam in. How can I help you, sir? Ладно. Ah, Alerstim will need uniforms to get past security. 
Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Bielikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. The uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Tap, tap, tap. I found the door to the Нету никакого оправдания, это некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить, понятно? Окей, okay, I have to leave. But you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Weapons and key guard are in the back. Come on, this way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. Куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я нем кое Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вичи, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Take us down.
когда вы прибыли? Что вы делаете? Elevator conversation always gets awkward. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. И прежде чем Гравченко успел Copy it to a disk.
This way. Surrender. You will not get away.
you ready to move? It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We're not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about Mark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Moving up. Do the honors, Bell. Fire. Like fucking clockwork. Stand up. Stand to the main gate. Look at
what did these poor bastards do? They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever. Contact! behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's move. Take you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Bart? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? 
Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. Go. No. Contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! As are we getting a ton of reinforcements, sir? Damn it! Doors! Clear! Out of the way! <laughs> Adler, I got eyes on an HVT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Lock it down! Out the window! Out the window! Head out the window! Fuck me! The chopper got away! Fuck Perseus! I got bigger problems! Down. Don't wait for us. Skyhawk, this is Skyhawk. ground team. Prefer you have visual. Roger that, ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Head up, Bark. You got snipers on the roof. I'll be back. Bill, bring out Ducks. those snipers. They're everywhere. Controlled burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. I think I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. Fuego de supresión! Proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. We lend an assist. That will be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good impact. Getting low on ammo. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lazar. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm fine. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. We lend an assist. That will be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good impact. Well, 
That was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on. Sims, get the gurney. more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn, with the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam, one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. First Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one.
remaining VC fled into the tree line. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. line nearby was the best way back to the game. He wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. The bunker is left, Bell, not right. Turn around, Bell, and take the other path. a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Reports at the bunker across the bridge. God damn it, Bell, we're running out of time. You went left at the fort, not right. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything stay good. Heart rate is coming down now. Wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around.
Well doing in the lab. Well, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume them. Right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. <laughs> Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. 
Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of them. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. In the end, no specific background really stuck with you. You resisted everything we tried, so we just kept it a mystery. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with him for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have, we have a, a job. job to do. Bell, we've got come a on, job. we've got a job to do. You got a job to do. You got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind the door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you. It's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find out. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. 
We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. We stopped them. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision at your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 